All right, so we're almost done with our application. In this video, we're going to set up the auth guard, which will prevent um, unlogged in users from going to certain routes. So for instance, we're not logged in right now, and I can go to slash profile. All right, and it's not even going to work because it's not getting the user information because we're not logged in. So this is something you don't want users to be able to do. So what we're going to do is in the app folder, we're going to create a new file called auth.guard.ts. All right, and we're going to do a couple things here. Let's import injectable so that we can inject it. Okay, now we're also going to be working with the router. So we're going to say import, um, whoops, should be curly braces. We're going to import a bunch of things here. So router, we also want activated route snapshot. Okay, we need that. And then also router state snapshot. All right, and those are going to be from Angular slash router. Okay, now we also want to bring in uh, can activate, and that's what allows us to basically reject certain routes depending on conditions. So import can activate, and that's also going to be from the router. And then we want to bring in our service as well. So we want to import auth. And that's going to be from services slash auth dot service. All right, now we'll add the injectable decorator. Oh, that should be at injectable. Then the class, we're going to call this auth guard, and we're going to say implements can activate. Okay, you need to have that. All right, and then we'll add a constructor. And this is where we're going to inject the, uh, the auth service and also the router. So in here, let's say private off and set that to off and then also private router which will set to router all right and we're not going to put anything in the constructor we're going to now add a function called can activate okay now this is going to take in uh, next and we're going to set that to activated route snapshot and then state, which will be set to uh, router state snapshot. And this is where we can check to see if we're logged in. So we'll say if this dot auth dot authenticated. Okay, so if this dot auth authenticated, let's do a console dot log. And we'll say auth guard passed. All right, and then we just want to return true. Okay, you return true, it's going to let you through. Return false, it's not. So we'll do else. And let's say console.log. And we'll say auth guard. Um, actually, we'll say blocked by auth guard. Okay, and then we want to um, redirect. So this dot router dot navigate will redirect us. And then we just want to pass in here a set of brackets and then slash which will bring us back to the home page. All right, and then finally we want to return false. All right, so we'll save that. Now it's not gonna work just yet. We have to go to our app routing file 
and then you need to define which routes you want this to work for so obviously we want the profile route so we're going to add to it we're going to say can activate and then set brackets and then auth guard okay now we're getting an error because we need to import that so let's go up here and say import auth guard from dot slash auth uh, what is it auth dot guard and we'll save so I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do so let's try it okay so we're not logged in and we go to slash profile okay let's see what's going on here no provider oh we need to add it as a provider so let's go to our app.module.ts and let's go down here and bring it in okay and then we're going to add that as a provider all right so let's try it again okay we're not logged in we're going to go to slash profile and that it still worked it shouldn't be working off guard passed hmm all right let me look at the local storage okay so we don't have the key that's pretty strange let's go back to off guard and see if I messed something up here oh I did I don't have parentheses right here okay so that the condition wasn't working because it wasn't looking at it as a function so let's try it again there we go so now it boots us back to the index page and we get blocked by off guard now let's make sure if we're logged in we can get in um, oh you know what what's going on here is we didn't we have to add this profile as a as a an accept an acceptable callback so let's go I'm going to copy that and then we'll go to our clients auth app and then we're going to add that in here all right and that should take care of that problem all right so let's reload and let's try logging in again okay so we're logged in click profile and it takes us to our profile all right so our application is now complete now what's nice about this application is you can use this with pretty much any other application you want you can uh, integrate this into the other projects that we've done so I would suggest keeping this on hand and maybe um, you know adding a couple extra bells and whistles to it but using it in apps where you want to implement some kind of access control or, or capture um, user info alright so that's gonna be it thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next project